Hey guys, this is Dwight. So a lot of you had questions and wanted to see how this painting was drying or dried. It's not quite dry, um, but I'll show you. You can probably see why to me it's a disaster. The edges, I think, look great. Even up at this end up here and over here, but it's this middle. I don't know, some of you might like it, but it's not, it's not my aesthetic. Um, I'd rather have, you know, these type of cells or that feathery look that we had um, in the walkthrough. So as you can see, it just, it moved. It, it just went in this direction. And then, it, <laughs> and then it came this way because all of this around the side is also disjointed and all squiggly, if that makes sense. So, you know, there's always the opportunity of trying to get in there and clean it out, but I don't like, I don't like purposeful messes. Um, I'm a perfectionist, which is probably, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's not, but I'd rather the art, you know, speak for itself. Um, I don't want it to be a happy accident. Sometimes that does happen, but then I try to recreate it. Uh, so I'm gonna try again uh, this weekend. I won't be using this canvas. I already poured over it two or three times. And I think, like I said in my video before, I, I had done um, a flip and drag and the paints are thicker in a flip and drag than this pour. These pours, the, the paint is thin. And so I think there was some unevenness um, in the other painting. And I think the weight was probably right here. So when it dried, it didn't dry uniformly. It went from the outside in. So then the weight pushed that down and it made everything in this painting go towards that middle. Oh, that's my cat. He's wants to get in my studio. Um, so yeah, so I think that's what it is. I'm gonna try again because I really liked this technique and I like the look of it. And so we're gonna see how we do. So guys, thanks for watching. I know it's just a short video, but I figured it's easier to do a video than to um, just take a picture. So we'll see you this weekend.